Okay, guys, overcoming the objection, is that your best price? I see that being something that really sticks a lot of salespeople. I want you to watch this full video. When you're outside on the lot, guy came in to look at a car or a family, and they ask you, hey, is that your best price? I'm gonna tell you exactly what to say. I'm gonna show you how to never let it be a problem again. Okay guys, so this is gonna be overcoming the objection, is that your best price, is this your best price? Now listen, I'm gonna to talk to you in two ways here, okay? One way is gonna be outside on the lot, and then one way is gonna be, it could be even inside. There could be a way where somebody asks for a better deal when they haven't driven the car yet, or when somebody says, what's your best price, and it could be right off of a test drive. So what I decided to do is I actually created a word track for you that will allow you to physically write this down, slow down during this video, and I'm gonna move out of the screen for a second, all right? I want you to pause the screen and write this down. The reason why I've been doing this a little bit lately is because word tracks are something that you tattoo on your heart. And by the way, when you have a word track, if you don't memorize it, it won't come out the same whenever the fire starts coming in and the customer says, hey, what's your best price? And they stop and you can't serve them back, so guess what happens? You think the sale's gonna go right? No, it's gonna go wrong. So what you wanna do is you wanna have something tattooed on your heart and you say, hey, and then boom, and then they continue through the sale and then they buy. So I'm allowing you at this time to physically write these word tracks down and I'm gonna teach you how to use it. So, customer says, and this is gonna be our objection, is that your best price? Now when someone asks, is that your best price? You gotta make sure that you don't swallow, you don't flinch, you gotta make sure that you stay confident. And just reply and give them an answer to it. And when someone asks, is that your best price? A lot of the times people ask that because salespeople aren't ready for that question. They know that you fear it. Don't fear this anymore. Just learn this objection. So I'm gonna kinda of walk you through it, okay? So, customer says, is that your best price? I always start out by saying, and I, and I wrote here, uh, Mr. Customer, but it could be, hey Andy. So I always say their name, especially during stuff like this, I say, hey Mr. Customer, we don't buy these cars to keep them, okay? We buy them to sell them fast. And we would love for you to drive out of here in this vehicle. So we don't put our second best price up front, but we put our first best price up front. But at the end of the day, I don't, own the, I don't own the dealership, I don't own the store, but I would definitely go to bat for you to make sure that you're getting an amazing deal. At this point in time, it's that simple. You're just gonna give them an objection. You're gonna overcome it, it's real simple, watch. Mr. Customer, we don't buy these cars to keep them, we buy them to sell them fast. We'd love for you to drive out of here in this vehicle. We don't put our second best price, we put our first best price up front. Since I don't own the store, what I'd love to do is go to bat for you to make sure that you're getting an amazing deal. Now if they've already driven the car, I could say so, if you would, follow me inside, let me show you how easy it is to buy here from us. Thank you so much. And I would move inside. And that is right here, if they've already driven. Now, if they have not driven, it would be like this. What I like to do is um, have you touch it, feel it, smell it, let's go for a drive, make sure that you love the truck, and guess what? After you get done driving it, I'll go inside, I'll make sure I'll show you an amazing deal you can't say no to. Cool? And that's it. And guess what? You don't get stuck on, is that your best price? Running back in, talking to your manager, right? Saying, hey man, this guy's saying he want a better deal on this truck. You don't wanna get stuck saying, hey, no price doesn't matter. You know, let's make sure you like the vehicle and then we'll worry about the price later. Look, just overcome it. Use a simple word track that keeps you out of the danger zone on saying things that you really didn't want to say. How many times have you been with a customer and you said something, you're like, dang it, I didn't want to say that. Well, you know why you said it? Because you were winging it. Don't be a professional winger. When I shoot these videos, when I'm with a customer and I'm in front of somebody, Dude, it's all here and I'm just going through it. I'm streamlining it, I'm closing them, I'm wrapping them up, I'm constantly advancing the cell forward, I'm moving. As I slow down, I write these things down for you. It's me getting outside of my comfort zone because I wanna make sure that you guys are actually learning this stuff and are actually not having to worry about the fear of understanding how am I gonna overcome, is that my best price on the lot? I don't want you to run and go get your managers, okay? I want you to be able to handle it on your own. And these are simple objections. They're very, very easy. I have master closer seminars every single month. And we work on closing, negotiations, overcoming objections. I teach guys to make five women, men, how to make 500,000 a year. Yes, it's happening. Doesn't matter to me if you're making 120 grand right now. If you're capable of making 350, you need to be partnering with me. 
These are baby videos, okay? And these baby videos help you to get to what's next. My goal in life is to be training with every single salesperson in the country at a master closer seminar right here in my conference room, and that's when we crush it. But on these little things, when somebody says, is that your best price? I don't want you to be drinking breast milk like you did when you were a baby, okay? I want you to actually be chugging out of the milk and a gallon in the refrigerator and just like be owning it, okay? And as I give these parallels and stuff, I want you to understand that, look, man, there needs to be a time where you elevate your game and you start writing word tracks down and you start understanding that, look, man, either you're going to become great or you're always going to stay average. Guys, become great with me, okay? And as I talk about these little baby objections, I don't even like making these, making these baby objection videos. But do you know what? I have to make them because you have to start somewhere. Some of you guys are new and you're just getting in. Some of you guys have been doing this for a while. Guess what? This isn't the meat and potatoes, okay? This is just a tiny little vegetable on the side. But guess what? All of it matters. If you want to become the top salesperson in the country, you have to have mad skill. Hey guys, number one, thank you so much for watching the entire video. You guys are awesome. I'm grateful for you. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have my training program. So I thank you, I thank you, and I thank you. Um, I got three things for you real quick. Number one, shoot me a text message. If I haven't met you, I would love to. My phone number is 918. 918- 210-0254. Shoot me a text. I'd love to meet you. Secondly, go to Facebook. Join Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation. That's Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation. One of the best Facebook groups in the world, hands down, for automotive sales training. And then lastly, I've got over 500 videos on YouTube, guys. Keep up the training. Keep watching the videos and crush it.